Hey folks, thank you for clicking on this video. So I'm gonna show you something today. Uh, I have been testing this for, um, I've had it for about two or three weeks. This is uh, the Flextail Gear Tiny Repel. Now this is a three in one item, do like a multi-use thing. Uh, but what this thing's primary function is, is a uh, bug repellent. So if you're watching this video, you probably know what this is. Flextail Gear, they make, they make little gadget things for camping mostly. Uh, they make a tiny pump, they do pillows, uh, they do slightly bigger pumps. So I've got a sup pump of theirs as well. And my experience of Flextail Gear is their stuff just works. It's, um, it's pretty good to be fair. It's well thought out sort of camping gadgets. That tiny pump I got, I've got the Tiny Pump X2 and it's just, it goes with me on every single trip that I've got an air mattress because it's a multi-use thing. It's a pump for my air mattress but it's got a light built in so I don't need to carry a tent light. Uh, and You know, I pump my bed up and then I hang it up in my tent. It's a really good thing. And this is another one. I've got a bug repellent thing that's solely a bug repellent but it's a little bit bigger. It's like a battery power bank. It, it lasts for ages. It is a power bank as well. It's, a lot of their stuff is multi-use. Um, so the thing I've got is a is a bug repellent primarily with power bank built in. This is a little bit smaller. It's about the same height as a schooner. That's not a pint glass so you can see. It's a schooner, well, two thirds of a pint maybe. Uh, it's about the same height as I say. It's a primarily a bug repellent, but it also is a tent light or, or a lantern, should we say, uh, in terms of the light. You know, there are four settings and they double each time. It's a 50 lumen, 100 lumen, 200 lumen. I think 400 is the top number on it. Now this is also a power bank. You can charge a phone off it. Uh, I'm not sure I would ever do that personally because I want the bug repellent side of it to be fully functioning for as long as possible. But in a pinch, if you've got a type C to your phone's uh, input, then you can use it as a power bank. But in terms of its, um, bug zapping capabilities. Now there's two little blue pads that sit in there. These are just generic ones I got off Amazon. Flextel also supply some but they're much of a muchness. Now they sit in the two slots there and there's a heating element in there that heats them and releases the chemical. It's some sort of citronella based thing. You've got two settings. It's a double click and you're on. Now green, that's the lower setting, that's for sort of inside a tent and that sort of thing. If you've got it on in a tent, obviously make sure you're ventilated. Press it again and you've got a red mode. Now red mode is this 165 degrees, you know, outdoor area cover. I forget exactly the distance, I think it's it's 9-10 meters, something like that. It's supposed to cover. Uh, that might be a bit optimistic, but for an outdoor setting, having it on red is the way to go. I'll say I've tested this reasonably thoroughly. I've taken it on one, two, three camping trips now. I've taken it down the pub last Saturday when I was out and I want to sit in the pub garden. I took this down the pub in my pocket uh, and I just put it on the outdoor mode and plonked it on the table and my family was there. We had some food and stuff outside uh, and it just keeps the bugs away. On a windy day the chemical it's giving off is going to go with the wind so you know if the wind's blowing across that way you know put it over there somewhere and, and let the let, let the stuff wash over you it's a riff on the um things you used to get back in the day where you'd plug something into the wall and you put one of these sort of pads in it and it would keep the bugs out of your room but obviously you know technology and stuff has moved on so it's now kind of a pocket sized thing uh, this is 148 grams and it's IPX5 water resistant so it can handle a little bit of rain obviously you know the charging port is exposed there's no cover on it so you know you can't take it swimming but uh, you know a little bit of drizzle you'd be totally fine mounting wise you've got the hook on the top uh, which is a what do they call that like a spring clip uh, ideal for hanging up in your tent or hanging off your bag if you're walking in a buggy area you've also got a magnetic base and you've also got a tripod mount in there so you can stick it on a tripod. I've got the little Flextail Gear tripod uh, which is sort of designed for this and it's just a simple, you know, twist up little basic tripod and this just fits nicely on the top. And that just lifts it up, you know, so when I'm sitting in the woods, I've got this 
down on the floor essentially next to me and it's just that you know I'm right in the cloud of whatever it's releasing and the bugs generally stay away my experience w with it has been pretty good uh, I was out last weekend with it and I was in a very moist area a woodland that's full of lakes and you know little murky ponds and all and I got bitten once on my arm <laughs> and that was I think was when I was walking in because I didn't think to hang this on my bag I only thought of it the other day but I spent an hour or two trekking through the <laughs> through the forest and, uh, and then when I got set up where I was I then got that out of my bag so if I'd have thought about it I guess the thing to do would have been hang it off my bag and then just walked and I probably would have been okay but as I say I tested the other one quite vigorously I had you know I've got ponds and things in my garden uh, I had barbecues and all sorts, people over, and I asked everyone to message me in the morning, did they have any insect bites and all, and everyone said no. So it does actually work. Obviously nothing's perfect, you know, the odd insect might get through, but I've been out, the place I was last week, I've been there before and I've been absolutely mullered. So to come back with one bite, as far as I can tell, is, is, a, is just a result, isn't it? And then packaging wise, you know, it comes with this little box and this you know slots nicely into there so you can keep it safe in your bag you've got a little storage area here for spare ones of them you've got instructions and you've got a little type c charging cable now this is the flextail tripod it doesn't cost a lot of money but it's a shame that this doesn't fold down and fit in there because that would be ideal but you know if you're like me you carry a camera tripod anyway I actually generally I'll carry a big tripod and then I carry a small one as a spare so I didn't mind carrying this because it, it functions as a spare tripod from a camera if I broke my other one which I have been known to do so I didn't mind having these two things to carry if you didn't want to carry this that's fine I mean clip the thing onto your bag and don't even pack it um, as far as battery goes on it uh, that's the only thing I think the smallest gripe I've got with it is when I've used it on these camping trips I forget the exact uh, what they say the battery lasts I think it's about seven hours on um, tent mode and maybe four or five hours on um, on the on the outdoor mode the, the the more powerful setting coupled with that you know the light is going to last a certain amount of time and I noticed when I was using it well into the night I had the light on and the repellent thing on uh, and it didn't quite last an evening which is no big deal, I carry a power bank anyway, but it's something to be aware of. If you want it to last a full you know, day, you will have to plug it in at some point. But that's the downside of having such a small thing. You know, that other one I've got, the bigger repel, I think it's a max repel they call that one, that's just basically a hunk of battery with the repellent thing built in on the end, and I use that, and that lasts you know, an evening and well into the night and beyond. Um, but for something portable and carryable and that's got a light on it for summer how much light do you really need I mean it's dark at you know nine ten o'clock you're only gonna have the light on for an hour or so so if you've got this through your evening and then you've just got enough juice to put it in your tent put the little tent repellent thing on have your light on while you're fiddling about it's a cool little thing so that is it that is the uh, tiny repel from Flextail if you're thinking of getting one go for it because I say, like all this stuff, it does just work. Um, and I'll be using this right through the summer. Pretty much going to come with me 95% of the time. I think if I'm up in the mountains, I don't need it because there are no bugs. You know, the wind just blows them away. So no biggie there. But uh, anything that's vaguely going to be buggy, that's coming with me. That's it from me. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I do have a link to this down below and I have secured a discount code off Flextail so feel free to uh, abuse the crap out of that but yeah that's been the tiny repel and uh, thank you for watching see you soon